Hi Winwood Kids, this is Miss Janie. Today we're going to hear about a story about something that was lost. Have you ever lost something that was important to you? I'm sure it made you feel a little bit sad. Well, we're going to hear a Bible story today that's going to make us actually very happy. We're going to hear the story of the little lost sheep. Speaking of which, where is my little sheep? Where is my lamb? Where are you? I'm going to look until I find it. Where is it? Oh my goodness. Look who I found. It's not lost anymore. We're going to tell little lamb the story about the little lost sheep. I'll let you sit right down here. Boys and girls, doesn't it make, make you feel good to know that Jesus is our good shepherd? And we're going to learn about the story of the shepherd in this book. Long, long ago, Jesus told his friends a story about a shepherd and his sheep. The shepherd was a good shepherd. He had 100 sheep. He loved all his sheep, and he knew their names, and he knew just what to do to keep them safe and happy. What would you name a sheep? How would you take care of it? The good shepherd knew his sheep couldn't find their own food, so every day he took his sheep to a safe place to eat. What do sheep like to eat? We don't eat grass like sheep, but sometimes we need someone to take care of us and help us get enough to eat. When the sheep were thirsty, the shepherd took them to a quiet stream to get a drink of water. The shepherd watched his sheep carefully as they ate grass and drank water from the stream. He wanted to make sure they were safe. Every night, the shepherd counted his sheep that way, he knew he could make sure that none were missing. How many sheep can you count on this page? Wow, there's quite a few. Then, just like your mom or dad tucks you into bed at night, the shepherd brought his sheep into the shepherd. A shepherd is a place where, with a fence around it. The shepherd protected the sheep from the wolves and kept the little lambs from running away. The good shepherd knew his sheep couldn't find their own food, so every day he took his sheep to a safe place to eat. What do sheep like to eat? We don't eat grass like sheep, but sometimes we need someone to take care of us and help us get enough to eat. When the, shepherd, when the sheep was thirsty, the shepherd took them to a quiet stream to drink. The shepherd watched his sheep carefully as they ate grass and drank water from the stream. He wanted to make sure they were safe. Every night the shepherd counted his sheep. That way he could make sure that none were missing. How many sheep can we count on this page? There's a bunch of them, isn't there? Then, just like your mom or dad tucks you into bed at night, the shepherd brought his sheep into the sheep sheepfold. A sheepfold is a place where, it, with a fence around it. The sheepfold protected the sheep from wolves and kept the little lambs from running away. One night, the shepherd was counting his sheep. One, two, three, four, he counted. Five, six, seven, he stopped to pull some brambles out of a fuzzy back. Eight, nine, ten, on and on he counted until he had counted all his sheep. But there were only 99 sheep. Something's wrong, said the shepherd. I should have 100 sheep. He counted them again. One lamb is missing. The shepherd cried. 
The shepherd knew that one little lamb must have wandered away from all the others. It was out there somewhere on the mountainside, lost. The shepherd knew the wolves would be hunting for food as soon it would be dark. He must find his lamb before night came. He left the 99 sheep in the sheepfold and went to search for the little lost lamb. He got tired as he walked up the mountain, but did not stop to rest. He wouldn't give up until he found his lamb. Down a rocky path over the mountainside he went, looking everywhere for his little lamb. Suddenly he stopped. What was the sound he heard? It sounded like a frightened little lamb. Bah! The shepherd hurried down to the sound. There near the mountain's edge, he saw a lost lamb. The lamb was caught in a thorny bush. He ran quickly to the lamb. The shepherd carefully separated the branches with his shepherd's staff, and he pulled the lamb to safety. The shepherd was happy as he lifted the little lamb to his shoulders. Gently, he carried it all the way back to the other sheep. Then let's see what happened. When the shepherd got home that night, he called his friends. He was so happy he found his little lost lamb. He wanted to celebrate, so he invited all his friends to come over to his house. He gave them good things to eat and drink while he told them how he found the lamb. Jesus is like that good shepherd. He says, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and I know my sheep well. And they know me. We are like the sheep in the story because we need Jesus to, to take care of us. Jesus loves us and knows our names. He watches out for us and keeps us safe. He gives us the food, water, rest, and love we need. Jesus wants us to follow him, and he'll never leave us or forget about us. We are his forever and ever. Doesn't it make you feel good to know that Jesus takes care of us like the shepherd took care of his sheep? Jesus is our good shepherd. Can you help me by saying a prayer? Let's pray together. Dear Jesus, I am so glad you care about me. Thank you for coming to search for me when I wander off in my heart and forget to follow you. Help me to love and obey you. Amen. Boys and girls, thank you for listening to this story with me today. I am so glad that I have a good shepherd and you have a good shepherd and Jesus watching over us all.